My name is Delyn Osborne, and I am an educator from Wichita, Kansas. Today, I am going to show you how I teach same and different ending sounds. First, I would show students a picture and ask them what the name of the picture is. What is this a picture of? Students respond with the word bug. We would show the individual sounds on our fingers for the word bug. B -u -g. What is the last sound we hear in bug? Students respond with g. Then I would show another picture and follow the same process. What is this a picture of? Students respond with leg. We would show the sounds on our fingers. O -a -g. What is the last sound we hear in leg? Students respond with g. With the pictures side by side, I would have the students say the names of the pictures again. Bug, leg. Then I ask, do these pictures have the same ending sound? Students should respond with yes. What is this a picture of? Students respond with B. We would show the sounds on our fingers. B, E. What is the last sound we hear in B? Students respond with E. What is this a picture of? Students respond with tree. We would show the sounds on our fingers. T, R, E. What is the last sound we hear in tree? Students respond with E. Then I show the two pictures together and have students say the name of the pictures again. B, tree. Then I ask, do these pictures have the same ending sound? Students should respond with yes. If the students respond with no, I would do the sounds again for each word and write the final sound below the picture. Let's do another example. What is this a picture of? Students respond with hand. We would show the sounds on our fingers. And. What is the last sound we hear in hand? Students respond with d. What is this a picture of? Students respond with bed. We would show the sounds on our fingers. B, e, d. What is the last sound we hear in bed? Students respond with d. Then I show the pictures together. Students say the name of the pictures again. Hand, bed. Then I ask, do these pictures have the same ending sound? Students should respond with yes. After doing a few examples, where the sounds are the same, I would switch to the words with different ending sounds. What is this a picture of? Students respond with map. We would show the sounds on our fingers. Map. What is the last sound we hear in map? Students respond with p. What is this a picture of? Students respond with bat. We should show the students on our fingers. B. At. What is the last sound we hear in bat? Students respond with t. Then I show the pictures again. Map, bat. Then I ask, do these pictures have the same ending sound? The students should respond with no. Then I would ask, why not? Students should respond with because map says p at the end and bat says t at the end. Once students have started getting comfortable with the skill, I would mix together examples of same and different ending sounds with the picture cards. In one example, I might, I might use dog and cat, but in the next example, I may use cup and lip. When I feel like students have a pretty good grasp with the picture cards, I start just giving them sets of words verbally and just have them show me a thumbs up for same sound and thumbs down for different sound. Students will need several opportunities to practice the skill. This is how I teach same and different ending sounds with early childhood learners.